This video will discuss the method used to set up a test with the DFib 5 and check the setup with our pass fail reference. First, some information about the DFib 5. This tester is designed to perform the test explained in IEC 60601 1 Issue 3, Figure 10, and when configured with option 00 13, it can also perform the test explained in IEC 601 1 Issue 3, Figure 11. This video will show a setup using the circuit shown in IEC 60601-1 Issue 3, Figure 10. Looking at the connections on the front panel of the DFib 5, you can see there are three points within the red rectangle. These points are where the 5,000 volt pulse is delivered to the device under test, and they are connected to the patient-connected leads of the device under test. Below these connections are two BNC receptacles and one connection labeled measuring point. The two BNCs connect to an oscilloscope, and the measuring point is connected to the signal input and output parts on the device under test. We are going to demonstrate these connections, simulating the device under test with our pass-fail reference, which is designed to simulate a barely passing device under test. It will deliver one volt peak to the oscilloscope. Per the standard, if the output to the oscilloscope is more than one volt, the result is a test failure. Our test setup consists of the DFib 5, the pass fail reference, and an oscilloscope. First, connect the 50 ohm output receptacle on the DFib 5 to the pink terminal of the pass fail reference. The pink terminal of the pass fail reference represents a patient connection on the device under test. Then, connect the measuring point receptacle on the DFib 5 to the blue terminal of the pass fail reference. The blue terminal of the pass-fail reference represents a signal input-output part on the device under test. Connect the BNC marked Y1 to channel 1 on the oscilloscope and the BNC marked Y2 to channel 2 on the oscilloscope using the BNC uh, cables that were supplied with the oscilloscope. Note, be sure the BNC cables you are using are actual one-to-one -one oscilloscope leads. Use of other cables with the correct terminations may not yield correct results. On the oscilloscope, locate the math function and set to channel 1 minus channel 2. For triggering, set the channel 1 trigger at 100 millivolts. Each scope will be different, but for this step, turn the display of channels 1 and 2 off. Set the scope to display only the math function. Then, set the time delay for 500 milliseconds. Now, enable the oscilloscope run mode. The oscilloscope is now set up correctly to capture the test result. On the DFib 5, press the charge button and wait until 5,000 volts is displayed on the front panel meter. When the meter actually reads 5,000 volts, press the trigger button. The resulting waveform on the oscilloscope should have a 1 volt maximum amplitude with a 5% tolerance. If this is displayed on the scope, then the DFib 5 and the setup is correct and you can go ahead and test your device. This video has shown the proper setup and test of the DFib 5. If you have any questions about this video or would like further information about the DFib 5 or the pass-fail reference, mm -hmm.